not because your wages are too low. It's because people don't want to belong to a group of people, to any group that terrorizes, brutalizes, demonizes, dehumanizes, degrades, and kills other people. Y'all are sworn. Sworn. Do you know what that means? That you swore to protect and serve your community. We are your community. You are sworn to protect and serve us. We're not here to hurt nobody. We're not here to break things. Do you see us? We're not vandalizing stuff. We're not stealing stuff. We're not hurting people. We literally just want to be heard. We're tired of our concerns falling on deaf ears. We just want to be heard and people that actually listen to what we want. You don't understand. Y'all got y'all got an investment in this. Y'all about to make a big, big rain right now. We get that. Some people will hate you about something, but if you're really about protecting and serving your community. Then you'll listen to what your community wants, not this content. Your community is begging, we're crying out for y'all to listen to us. We just want to be heard. Hello, hello. Being heard is one thing. My interest is fair as it is why. Something saying that we're going to be in this space. So then they tell us to come back here. And now we're going to go. Good morning. Do I look like a criminal to you? Honestly. Do I look like a criminal? Do I look like a criminal because I'm black and I'm wearing a red sweatshirt? I must be a gangster, right? I must be on drugs. I probably have a weapon. Who knows? Oh, y'all don't like that sound? We are really Come on, let's get me in the car. Come on, let's get me in the car. You don't like that noise? They don't like that noise. It's a siren. Not at all. Too crazy. At the gang task force meeting, they said that you could be a criminal based on your last name. Based on the neighborhood you live in, your last name. would be a reason for you to be a criminal. You will basically be a criminal on your last name and your neighborhood. They will judge you to be a criminal based on your last name. That means you get to beat up some black people. He said he's like that first. Get out of my get, get the fuck out! Come on, get out of my get house! Get the fuck out! Come on, get out of my house! Get the fuck out! 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 Get the fuck out!
What is nice up behind me? Is nice up behind me, I'm gonna get scared. I know not much, what's going on? Not Is this cop giving you trouble? Hey, I don't think they, that's they, they ordered me two feet away from their faces. Oh, get away from their faces? But they're public and they're a public officer. Don't put that in your face. What? Don't videotape his face. Why? But it's totally legal. I'm telling you, don't put it in his face. I'm not gonna tell you what Fucking coward. No, they aren't. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever there's an actual situation, it's up to the citizens to do it. Well, I guess those 17 cops are going to have to uh, quit, huh? Uh, I stayed in for two. But, uh, you both you guys, both of Oh, cool. <laughs> they didn't bring out me. They didn't bring out the dark So that means that it got shot down, right? That was just one boat, I guess, so far. Yeah. But well, one of them's not there.
We directed the Police Bureau to research the issue and to return to a full council hearing before proceeding to purchase any cameras. Mayor Hales' amendment to this ordinance is crystal clear that the draft body camera policy will be reviewed and amended by a stakeholder committee. Then it will return to council for a full public hearing where amendments will be considered. Mayor Hales' amendment states that the city council will decide on the body camera policy, not the chief of police, Portland Police Association, or the mayor alone. What is on the table is the police, call the police association's agreement not to open the entire contract to bargain on the body camera policy. That is a huge win if we ratify the proposed contract today. Obviously the most crucial issue is to be is the most The union has agreed that revisions to this policy will be determined by the United States Department of Justice. And at last, the 48 hour waiting period before an officer may be interviewed in connection with a community member being killed by a police officer is deleted from the contract. This policy has been condemned since the turn of the century. Countless groups and individuals have railed against it. It is obviously she needs to go. This contract deletes it. I commend Mayor Hales for his achieving what many of what other members have tried and failed to win in union bargaining agreements. Some community members have said that the deletion of the 48 hour rule is meaningless as other, if other protection policies remain in place. Nothing in the ordinance before us today deletes the authority to interview officers involved in deadly force incidents immediately if warranted. Some community Advocates have voiced concern that an officer could uh, delay giving a statement until he or she reviews the body camera and uh, evidence. That is simply not true. And again, the body camera policy will come back to council for the mayor's court amendment. The rules on reviewing data, including audio and, visual, uh, audio and video evidence, is subject to Department of Justice review under the second agreement. Another concern I heard is that there are no standards for which officers are able to come back to work part time as retirees. The contract states that the chief has absolute discretion on who to hire back and who should not be allowed to agree into the workforce. I find it unbelievable that any chief appointed by the mayor as the commissioner, commissioner in charge of the bureau would in invite criticism by hiring back officers who are not trusted by the community. Rehiring of retirees should be at the discretion of the chief, and it is. I've met with pol police chiefs regularly since I took office in 2009. Community members may consider both, as a, both the council and the police bureau are out of touch with community concerns, and I can't believe that any mayor would allow the police chief to rehire officers known to be despised by the community. But they have. They, they, they do. Oh, this is taking forever, just say it. Community members I don't hear you in Yorkshire, England, where I grew up, there was a saying, why borrow trouble? The other directors, including the police chiefs, are hired for their connection to all of our communities in Portland. While I understand community concerns are not a of retirement retirees, I don't believe that concern is enough to compel me to vote against the package. Another concern I recognize is concern is not enough to fire up to What? What else is? contrary to city policy. The union has agreed to withdraw 11 grievances that have been filed and are pending decisions. Withdrawing those grievances means the union is accepting the Bureau's clear and objective discipline guide, which mandates actions in relation to offensive. The use of the discipline guide has resulted in stiffer penalties for infractions than the previous benchmark of past practice. Since the mayor has took office, 12 officers have been terminated or resigned in lieu of termination. Officers who reside under pressure of discipline or who are fired in response to their actions lose their accreditation. They can't work as police officers anywhere in Oregon. In, <coughs> excuse me. And in the cases where the arbitrator has ruled that the city must continue to employ an officer who the chief and the mayor have filed, those officers are now assigned to work where they will never interact with the community on the streets. The acceptance of the discipline guide by the union is a significant win for our community and the police commissioner, Mayor Hales. And the discipline guide is not part of the contract. If the police chief, mayor, council or community members want to change it, that can be done administratively rather than being bargained in contract negotiations. Arbitrators have ruled in favour of the Portland Police Association's contract multiple times on multiple issues. Many community members recognize this and would like to see the contract changed to send conflicts to the civil service board rather than the arbitration process. I share that desire. This is one issue on which I agree we didn't get everything that we 
wanted. Should we reject the whole package? Yes! Yes! Fuck yes! In yes. Fuck yes. Negotiations, the final decision. In union Please. negotiations, the final decisions are never all on one side or the other. The final package before the council today reflects that reality. The agreement recognizes that changes to the independent review, police review process and citizens review committee's hearings to consider appeals to the IPR are pending. It recognizes the role of the US Department of Justice on those processes. It continues to recognize the um, I agree with community concerns about this section of the contract and I will continue to advocate to address those concerns when the independently elected city auditor decides to move forward with their reform package. I don't see a compelling argument to delay contract ratification on that issue. So in summary, there are several sections of the contract in which I share community concerns. There are several sections of the tentative agreement which I believe, on which I believe community concerns are misinformed. And there are some where I believe the, the contract addresses the concerns and gives the council and the community long held uh, wins. So the question I've asked myself over the past lunch, the past month, is why do this now? Why not support the position of community advocates who unite in asking the council to delay their decision on the contract until Mayor Wheeler takes that leadership out of our city? So the core question is, what is the cost of voting to approve this contract or not? And I'm not talking about the cost in dollars. Council was clear this spring when Mayor Hales proposed the surcharge on the business income tax to pay for the 4% raises for all officers. And along with other commissioners, I assessed the monetary bill of over $9 million in ongoing resources too high when we weren't also buying changes to the contract. Now, the bill is around $6 million, with significant concessions from the police union on crucial issues such as I've just described. We are buying the elimination of the 48-hour rule, agreement that the body camera policy and other Department of Justice mandated reforms are not subject to bargaining, and dismissal of 11 grievances, some of which could cost the city millions if arbitration rules in the union's favour. But this is about more than the dollars and the contract and the ordinance language. Local activists have seized on the contract as an issue that relates to the broader community concerned about justice in relation to police officers' actions in our city. The fundamental question is, what are the costs for our community in either accepting or rejecting this package? Not the dollar costs, but the people costs. Who will suffer if this contract is not ratified today? The answer I see is that people who suffer will be the same communities that good-hearted, earnest advocates seek to protect, low-income communities and communities of color. The cost of delay will be impacts to neighborhoods struggling to reduce gang violence and human trafficking, neighborhoods desperate for community policing with officers on walking beats to forge connections with people living outside, and, 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 and with the adult panhandlers, people with drug and alcohol addictions, and residents and employers just trying to get through each day the for every report of an officer community interaction gone bad, there are hundreds or thousands of responses where police officers provide vital services to Portlanders who are crime victims, to people experiencing mental illnesses, including people threatening to kill themselves and or others due to suicidal thoughts. We need police officers to have capacity to report traffic issues, 